And good evening, everyone. Welcome back to our local election coverage tonight with some uh, basic fundamental decisions made by Fox News tonight regarding the two main races in the state. And we have some more numbers coming in to show us how Wisconsin is voting this evening. Some new numbers for this race, the U.S. Senate race. Now, it's a race that has already been called by Fox News for the Democrat, Tammy Baldwin. She has apparently defeated former governor Tommy Thompson there. You can see the latest numbers. They don't reflect that right now. But again, this race has been called by Fox News for the Democrat, Tammy Baldwin. And right now, Alex Ranallo is in Madison with the Baldwin campaign. Let's go to her now for some reaction. Well, hi, Michelle. Everyone out here is, as you can imagine, very excited to hear that Fox News has called the race for Tammy Baldwin. But right now, uh, the, the speaker on the podium is actually Mark Pocan. He is the man who will take over Baldwin's seat in the House of Representatives for the 2nd District. But as I said, the crowd here is revved up, and we've seen it grow rapidly since the polls closed here at 8 o'clock. I keep hearing cheers going through the room through the night, and you know there's Baldwin supporters here. There are state representatives and senators here. There was an appearance by Senator Russ Feingold, and everyone is excited. I spoke with Baldwin's campaign manager earlier this evening, and he told me that all day long they have been cautiously optimistic. So we're just waiting on the lady herself, Tammy Baldwin, to come out here. We're not quite sure when she's going to be here, but you can bet we will be here to bring you her speech when she does arrive. Now, Robert Hornacek is with Tommy Thompson's campaign in Pewaukee, so let's go ahead and check in with him. Well, good evening, uh, Alex. I can tell you that Tommy Thompson supporters here have been packed in here for the last hour and a half or so. And interestingly enough, they're glued to the televisions, but they're locked on cable channels, so they're not actually seeing the results for this Senate race pour in. So a lot of people here don't know that Fox News has projected that Tammy Baldwin is going to uh, be the next senator from Wisconsin and not Tommy Thompson. And in fact, some people I did speak with say that they're still holding out hope that Thompson will be able to eke out a victory in some fashion here in Wisconsin. I can tell you that folks came in here very optimistic tonight, but as the results on the national level have started to pour in, those, the, the optimism has, uh, has not totally faded from the room, but people are very tense as they're watching the results pour in, and they're still, uh, they're, they're still a little bit optimistic, but perhaps not as optimistic as they were when the night began. So again, not many results for the Senate race being seen here at Tommy Thompson's party. Of course, when the news does spread, we'll bring you reaction. We'll also bring you Tommy Thompson's comments when he makes them at the podium. But again, it's, we expected it to be a long night. It's not officially over yet. And we'll be here all night and bring you the latest throughout the evening. Reporting live in Pewaukee, Robert Hornacek, Fox 11 News.